We continue our worship now as we join our hearts and minds together in prayer. Will you pray with me? Thank you, Holy God, for being with us this day as we come together in worship and prepare for the coming week. Thank you for continuing to stay with us through this coming week as we seek to be the people of God in our daily lives. Thank you for speaking to us and for listening to us as we raise our voices and our prayers to you. Loving God who moves in our world, who responds to the changing times of our lives, who longs to be in relationship with us and with all the people of the earth, we lift our prayers this day for those in great need. We pray for Donna Bryant and for all of Ulysses' family and friends, for Valerie Kimbrough, for Eleanor Edwards, for the family of Sharon Roney, for young girls in Nigeria separated from their families, for the people and leaders of Ukraine and Russia, for those suffering from wildfires in Southern California, for family and friends of minors in Turkey. In silence, we raise our prayers for other concerns that are in our hearts. God, hear our prayers, those spoken aloud and those voiced quietly, deep in our hearts. We celebrate this day. We celebrate with all graduates, with those newly married and those planning upcoming weddings, with all celebrating special life events during these spring days. In silence, we pray for all who know great happiness this day. God, hear our prayers, those spoken aloud, and those voiced quietly in the depths of our hearts. We pray for the upcoming 221st General Assembly of our denomination. Be with the commissioners as they read and pray and prepare. Be with Louisville staff, the Detroit Committee on Local Arrangements, the pastors and churches of our presbytery, as all of us work and prepare to welcome 5,000 of our Presbyterian sisters and brothers to Detroit. Be with the members of the Fort Street's GA Steering Committee who have worked hard over the past many months and now are facing demands for more time and energy as the convening of the assembly draws ever near. Be with our entire congregation as we prepare to carry on the hospitality, the ministry of hospitality and kindness in a very large way and as we enjoy the excitement we will discover in the life and mission of the larger church. May this time renew us to be your ever more faithful disciples. May this time energize our congregation for the sacred work before us. This day, O oh God, we are thankful for Ford Street's 165 years of ministry. We give thanks for every pastor, every elder, every deacon who has served this congregation. We give thanks for every member over these many years who have added to the richly diverse quality of our life together, who have brought to the congregation an amazing array of talents, gifts, abilities, time, and energy, who have challenged and supported, encouraged, and nudged Fort Street to rise to the occasion of changing times year after year, decade after decade. Today, we especially give thanks for Bob and Virginia Crilly, for all the gifts they brought to this congregation during, during their ministry here, for their ongoing prayers and love and support for the life and work of Fort Street, for the hope they bring to us this day, for this special time we can share with them, and for the opportunity to dedicate the gymnasium as we honor Bob and Virginia. Holy God, fill our hearts with gratitude, gratitude for so many good things, as we pray together the prayer Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven. 